had the manifestation of Nuit, the unveiling of the company of heaven. Every man and every woman is a star. Every number is infinite, there is no difference. Help me, O warrior lord of Thebes, in my unveiling before the children of men. Be thou hard it, my secret center, my heart and my tongue. Behold, it is revealed by Ivas, the minister of Hor Parkrat. The carbs is in the Khu, not the Khu in the carbs. Worship then the carbs, and behold my light shed over you. Let my servants be few and secret. They shall rule the many and the known. These are fools that men adore. Both their gods and their men are fools. Come forth, O children, under the stars, and take your fill of love. I am above you and in you. My ecstasy is in yours. My joy is to see your joy. Above the gemmed azure is the naked splendor of Nuit. She bends in ecstasy to kiss the secret ardors of Hardit. The winged globe, the starry blue, are mine, O Ankaf Nakhonsu. Now ye shall know that the chosen priest and apostle of infinite space is the prince priest, the beast and in his woman called the Scarlet Woman is all power given. They shall gather my children into their fold. They shall bring the glory of the stars into the hearts of men. For he is ever a sun, and she a moon, but to him is the winged secret flame, and to her the stooping starlight. But ye are not so chosen, Burn upon their brows, O splendorous serpent. O azure-lidded woman, bend upon them. The key of the rituals is in the secret word which I have given unto him. With the god and the adorer I am nothing. They do not see me. They are as upon the earth. I am heaven, and there is no other god than me, and my lord had it. Now, therefore, I am known to ye by my name Nuit, and to him by a secret name, which I will give him when at last he knoweth me. Since I am infinite space, and the infinite stars thereof, do ye also thus bind nothing. Let there be no difference made among you between any one thing and any other thing, for thereby there cometh hurt. But whoso availeth in this, let him be the chief of all. I am Nuit, and my word is six and fifty. Divide, add, multiply, and understand. Then saith the prophet and slave of the beauteous one, Who am I, and what shall be the sign? So she answered him, bending down, a lambent flame of blue, all touching, all penetrant, her lovely hands upon the black earth, and her lithe body arched for love, and her soft feet not hurting the little flowers, thou knowest, and the sign shall be my ecstasy, the consciousness of the continuity of existence, the omnipresence of my body. Then the priest answered, and said unto the queen of space, kissing her lovely brows, and the dew of her light, bathing his whole body in a sweet-smelling perfume of sweat, O oh, Nuit, continuous one of heaven, let it be ever thus that men speak not of thee as one, but as none, and let them speak not of thee at all, since thou art continuous. None breathe the light, faint and fairy, of the stars and two, for I am divided for love's sake, for the chance of union. This is the creation of the world, that the pain of division is as nothing, 
and the joy of dissolution all. For these fools of men and their woes cared not thou at all. They feel little. What is is balanced by weak joys, but ye are my chosen ones. Obey my prophet, follow out the ordeals of my knowledge, seek me only, then the joys of my love will redeem ye from all pain. This is so, I swear it by the vault of my body, by my sacred heart and tongue, by all I can give, by all I desire of ye all. Then the priest fell into a deep trance or swoon, and said unto the Queen of Heaven, Write unto us the ordeals, write unto us the rituals, write unto us the law. But she said, The ordeals I write not, the rituals shall be half known and half concealed, the law is for all. This that thou writest is the threefold book of law. My scribe Ankavnakonsu, the priest of the princes, shall not in one letter change this book, but lest there be folly, he shall comment thereupon by the wisdom of Rahu Kuit. Also the mantras and spells, the obia and the wanga, the work of the wand and the work of the sword, these he shall learn and teach. He must teach but he may make severe the ordeals. The word of the law is Thelema. Who calls us Thelemites will do no wrong, if he look but close into the word. For there are therein three grades, the hermit, and the lover, and the man of earth. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. The word of sin is restriction. O man, refuse not thy wife, if she will. O lover, if thou wilt depart, there is no bond that can unite the divided but love. All else is a curse. Accursed, accursed be it to the eons hell. Let it be that state of manyhood bound and loathing. So with thy all thou hast no right but to do thy will. Do that and no other shall say nay. For pure will unassuaged of purpose, delivered from the lust of result, is every way perfect. The perfect and the perfect are one perfect, and not two, nay, are none. Nothing is a secret key of this law. Sixty-one the Jews call it, I call it eight, eighty, four hundred and eighteen. But they have the heart. Unite by thine art, so that all disappear. My prophet is a fool with his one, one, one. Are not they the ox and none by the book? Abrogate are all rituals, all ordeals, all words and signs. Ra Kuit hath taken his seat in the east at the equinox of the gods. And let Asar be with Isa who also are one, but they are not of me. Let Asar be the Adorant, Isa the Sufferer. Hor in his secret name and splendor is the Lord initiating. There is a word to say about the Hierophantic task. Behold, there are three ordeals in one, and it may be given in three ways. The gross must pass through fire, let the fine be tried in intellect, and the lofty chosen ones in the highest. Thus ye have star and star, system and system. Let not one know well the other. There are four gates to one palace. The floor of that palace is of silver and gold. Lapis lazuli and jasper are there, and all rare scents jasmine and rose and the emblems of death. Let him enter in turn, or at once, the four gates. Let him stand on the floor of the palace. Will he not sink? Am, ho, warrior, if thy servants sink. But there are means and means. Be goodly, therefore. Dress ye all in fine apparel. Eat rich foods 
and to drink sweet wines and wines that foam. Also, take your fill and will of love as ye will, when, where, and with whom ye will, but always unto me. If this be not aright, if ye confound the space marks, saying they are one, or saying they are many, if the ritual be not ever unto me, then expect the direful judgments of Ra Horkuit. This shall regenerate the world, the little world my sister, my heart and my tongue, unto whom I send this kiss. Also, O scribe and prophet, though thou be of the princes, it shall not assuage thee, nor absolve thee, but ecstasy be thine and joy of earth, ever to me, to me. Change not as much as the style of a letter, for behold, thou, O prophet, shalt not behold all these mysteries hidden therein. The child of thy bowels, he shall behold them. Expect him not from the east, nor from the west, for from no expected house cometh that child. Arm. All words are sacred, and all prophets true, save only that they understand a little. Solve the first half of the equation, leave the second unattacked. But thou hast all in the clear light, and some, though not all, in the dark. Invoke me under my stars. Love is the law, love under will. Nor let the fools mistake love, for there are love and love. There is the dove, and there is the serpent. Choose ye well. He, my prophet, hath chosen, knowing the law of the fortress, and the great mystery of the house of God. All these old letters of my book are aright, but Zadi is not the star. This also is secret. My prophet shall reveal it to the wise. I give unimaginable joys on earth, certainty, not faith, while in life. Upon death, peace unutterable, rest, ecstasy, nor do I demand aught in sacrifice. My incense is of resinous woods and gums, and there is no blood therein, because of my hair, the trees of eternity. My number is eleven, as all their numbers who are of us, the five-pointed star with a circle in the middle, and the circle is red. My color is black to the blind, but the blue and gold are seen of the seeing. Also I have a secret glory for them that love me. But to love me is better than all things, if, under the night stars in the desert, thou presently burnest mine incense before me, invoking me with a pure heart, and the serpent flame therein, Thou shalt come a little to lie in my bosom. For one kiss wilt thou then be willing to give all, but whoso gives one particle of dust shall lose all in that hour. Ye shall gather goods and store of women and spices. Ye shall wear rich jewels. Ye shall exceed the nations of the earth in splendor and pride, but always in the love of me. And so shall ye come to my joy. I charge you earnestly to come before me in a single robe, and covered with a rich headdress. I love you, I yearn to you, pale or purple, veiled or voluptuous. I, who am all pleasure and purple, and drunkenness of the innermost sense, desire you. Put on the wings and arouse the coiled splendor within you, Come unto me. At all my meetings with you shall the priestess say, and her eyes shall burn with desire as she stands bare and rejoicing in my secret temple. To me, to me, calling forth the flame of the hearts of all in her love chant. Sing the rapturous love song unto me. Burn to me perfumes. Wear to me jewels. Drink to me, for I love you. I love you. I am the blue-lidded daughter of sunset. I am the naked brilliance of the voluptuous night sky. To me, to me.
the manifestation of Nuit is at an end. New, the hiding of Hardit. Come, all ye, and learn the secret that hath not yet been revealed. I, Hardit, am the complement of New, my bride. I am not extended, and Khabs is the name of my house. In the sphere I am everywhere the center, as she, the circumference, is nowhere found. Yet she shall be known, and I never. Behold, the rituals of the old time are black. Let the evil ones be cast away. Let the good ones be purged by the prophet. Then shall this knowledge go aright. I am the flame that burns in every heart of man and in the core of every star. I am life and the giver of life. Yet therefore is the knowledge of me the knowledge of death. I am the magician and the exorcist. I am the axle of the wheel and the cube in the circle. Come unto me is a foolish word, for it is I that go. Who worshipped Heruparkrath have worshipped me ill, for I am the worshipper. Remember all ye that existence is pure joy, that all the sorrows are but as shadows, they pass and are done but there is that which remains. O prophet, thou hast ill will to learn this writing. I see thee hate the hand and the pen, but I am stronger, because of me in thee, which thou knowest not. For why? Because thou wast the knower and me. Now, let there be a veiling of this shrine. Now let the light devour men and eat them up with blindness. For I am perfect, being not, and my number is nine by the fools, but with the just I am eight, and one in eight, which is vital, for I am none indeed. The empress and the king are not of me, for there is a further secret. I am the empress and the hierophant, thus eleven as my bride is eleven. Hear me, ye people of sighing, the sorrows of pain and regret, are left to the dead and the dying, the folk that not know me as yet. These are dead, these fellows. They feel not. We are not for the poor and sad. The lords of the earth are our kinsfolk. Is a god to live in a dog? No, but the highest are of us. They shall rejoice, our chosen, who sorroweth is not of us. Beauty and strength. Leaping laughter and delicious languor, force and fire are of us. We have nothing with the outcast and the unfit. Let them die in their misery, for they feel not. Compassion is the vice of kings. Stamp down the wretched and the weak. This is the law of the strong. This is our law and the joy of the world. Think not, O king, upon that lie that thou must die. Verily, thou shalt not die, but live. Now let it be understood. If the body of the king dissolve, he shall remain in pure ecstasy forever. Nuit, Hardit, Ra Kuit, the sun, strength and sight, light. These are for the servants of the star and the snake. I am the snake that giveth knowledge and delight and bright glory, and stir the hearts of men with drunkenness. To worship me, take wine and strange drugs, whereof I will tell my prophet, and be drunk thereof. They shall not harm ye at all. It is a lie, this folly against self. The exposure of innocence is a lie. Be strong, O man, lust, enjoy all things of sense and rapture. Fear not that any god shall deny thee for this. I am alone. There is no god where I am. Behold, these be grave mysteries, for there are also of my friends who be hermits. Now think not to find them in the forest or on the mountain, but in beds of purple, caressed by magnificent beasts of women with large limbs and fire and light in their eyes. 
and masses of flaming hair about them. There shall ye find them. Ye shall see them at rule, at victorious armies, at all the joy, and there shall be in them a joy a million times greater than this. Beware, lest any force another, king against king, love one another with burning hearts, on the low men trample in the fierce lust of your pride, in the day of your wrath. Ye are against the people, O my chosen. I am the secret serpent coiled about to spring. In my coiling there is joy. If I lift up my head, I and my newet are one. If I droop down mine head and shoot forth venom, then is rapture of the earth, and I and the earth are one. There is great danger in me, for who doth not understand these runes shall make a great miss. He shall fall down into the pit called Because, and there he shall perish with the dogs of reason. Now a curse upon Because and his kin. May Because be accursed for ever. If Will stops and cries why, invoking Because, then Will stops and does naught. If power asks why, then is power weakness. Also reason is a lie, for there is a factor infinite and unknown, and all their words are skew-wise. Enough of because, be he damned for a dog. But ye, O oh my people, rise up and awake. Let the rituals be rightly performed with joy and beauty. There are rituals of the elements and feasts of the times. A feast for the first night of the prophet and his bride. A feast for the three days of the writing of the book of the law. A feast for Tahuti and the child of the prophet. Secret, O prophet. A feast for the supreme ritual and a feast for the equinox of the gods. A feast for fire, and a feast for water. A feast for life, and a greater feast for death. A feast every day in your hearts, in the joy of my rapture. A feast every night, unto new, and the pleasure of uttermost delight. I feast, rejoice, there is no dread hereafter. There is the dissolution and eternal ecstasy in the kisses of new. There is death for the dogs. Dost thou fail? Art thou sorry? Is fear in thine heart? Where I am, these are not. Pity not the fallen, I never knew them. I am not for them, I console not. I hate the consoled and the consoler. I am unique and conqueror. I am not of the slaves that perish. Be they damned and dead, amen. This is of the four. There is a fifth who is invisible, and therein am I as a babe in an egg. Blue am I, and gold in the light of my bride. But the red gleam is in my eyes, and my spangles are purple and green. Purple beyond purple. It is the light higher than eyesight. There is a veil. That veil is black. It is the veil of the modest woman. It is the veil of sorrow and the pall of death. This is none of me. Tear down that lying spectre of the centuries. Veil not your vices in virtuous words. These vices are my service. Ye do well, and I will reward you here and hereafter. Fear not, O prophet. When these words are said, thou shalt not be sorry. Thou art emphatically my chosen, and blessed are the eyes that thou shalt look upon with gladness. But I will hide thee in a mask of sorrow. They that see thee shall fear thou art fallen, but I lift thee up. Nor shall they who cry aloud their folly that thou meanest naught avail. Thou shalt reveal it. Thou availest. They are the slaves of because, they are not of me. The stops as thou wilt, the letters, change them not in style or value. 
Thou shalt obtain the order and value of the English alphabet. Thou shalt find new symbols to attribute them unto. Be gone, ye mockers. Even though ye laugh in my honor, ye shall laugh not long. Then, when ye are sad, know that I have forsaken you. He that is righteous shall be righteous still. He that is filthy shall be filthy still. Yea, deem not of change. Ye shall be as ye are, and not other. Therefore the kings of the earth shall be kings forever. The slaves shall serve. There is none that shall be cast down or lifted up. All is ever as it was. Yet there are masked ones, my servants. It may be that yonder beggar is a king. A king may choose his garment as he will. There is no certain test. But a beggar cannot hide his poverty. Beware, therefore. Love all, lest perchance is a king concealed. Say you so? Fool, if he be a king, thou canst not hurt him. Therefore strike hard and low, and to hell with them, master. There is a light before thine eyes, O prophet, a light undesired, most desirable. I am uplifted in thine heart, and the kisses of the stars rain hard upon thy body. Thou art exhaust in the voluptuous fullness of the inspiration. The expiration is sweeter than death, more rapid and laughterful than a caress of hell's own worm. O oh, thou art overcome, we are upon thee, our delight is all over thee. Hail, hail, prophet of Nu, prophet of Had, prophet of ra ku Now rejoice, now come in our splendor and rapture, come in our passionate peace and write sweet words for the kings. I am the master, thou art the holy chosen one. Write and find ecstasy in writing, work and be our bed in working, thrill with the joy of life and death. Ah, thy death shall be lovely, who so seeth it shall be glad. Thy death shall be the seal of the promise of our age-long love. Come, lift up thine heart and rejoice. We are one, we are none. Hold, hold, bear up in thy rapture. Fall not in swoon of the excellent kisses. Harder, hold up thyself. Lift thine head, breathe not so deep. Die. Ah, ah, what do I feel? Is the word exhausted? There is help and hope in other spells. Wisdom says, be strong, then canst thou bear more joy. Be not animal, refine thy rapture. If thou drink, drink by the eight and ninety rules of art. If thou love, exceed by delicacy. And if thou do aught joyous, let there be subtlety therein. But exceed, exceed. Strive ever to more, and if thou art truly mine, and doubt it not, and if thou art ever joyous, death is the crown of all. Ah, ah, death, death, thou shalt long for death. Death is forbidden, O man, unto thee. The length of thy longing shall be the strength of its glory. He that lives long and desires death much is ever the king among the kings. I listen to the numbers and the words. Four, six, three, eight, A, B, K, two, four, A, L, G, M, O, R, Three, Y, X, twenty-four, eighty-nine, R, P, S, T, O, V, A, L. What meaneth this, O prophet? Thou knowest not, nor shalt thou know ever. There cometh one to follow thee. He shall expand it. But remember... O chosen one to be me, to 
to follow the love of new in the starlit heaven, to look forth upon men to tell them this glad word. O oh, be thou proud and mighty among men, lift up thyself, for there is none like unto thee among men or among gods. Lift up thyself, O my prophet, thy stature shall surpass the stars. They shall worship thy name, foursquare, mystic, wonderful, the number of the man and the name of thy house, 418. The end of the hiding of Hardit, and blessing and worship to the prophet of the lovely star. Abra Hadabra, the reward of Ra Horkut. There is division hither homeward. There is a word not known. Spelling is defunct. All is not aught. Beware, hold, raise the spell of Ra Horkut. Now let it be first understood that I am a god of war and of vengeance. I shall deal hardly with them. Choose ye an island, fortify it, dung it about with enginery of war. I will give you a war engine. With it ye shall smite the peoples, and none shall stand before you. Lurk, withdraw upon them. This is the law of the battle of conquest. Thus shall my worship be about my secret house. Get the stele of revealing itself. Set it in thy secret temple, and that temple is already a right disposed. And it shall be your Qibla forever. It shall not fade, but miraculous color shall come back to it day after day. Close it in locked glass for a proof to the world. This shall be your only proof. I forbid argument. Conquer! That is enough. I will make easy to you the abstraction from the ill-ordered house in the victorious city. Thou shalt thyself convey it with worship, O prophet, though thou likest it not. Thou shalt have danger and trouble. Ra Hor Ku is with thee. Worship me with fire and blood. Worship me with swords and with spears. Let the woman be girt with a sword before me. Let blood flow to my name. Trample down the heathen. Be upon them, O warrior, I will give you of their flesh to eat. Sacrifice cattle, little and big, after a child. But not now. Ye shall see that hour, O blessed beast, and thou the scarlet concubine of his desire. Ye shall be sad thereof. Deem not too eagerly to catch the promises. Fear not to undergo the curses. Ye, even ye, know not this meaning all. Fear not at all. Fear neither men nor fates, nor gods nor anything. Money fear not, nor laughter of the folk folly, nor any other power in heaven or upon the earth or under the earth. New is your refuge as hard it your light, and I am the strength, force, vigor of your arms. Mercy let be off, damn them who pity, kill and torture, spare not, be upon them, that stele they shall call the abomination of desolation. Count well its name, and it shall be to you as seven one eight. Why? Because of the fall of because, that he is not there again. Set up my image in the east. Thou shalt buy thee an image which I will show thee, a special, not unlike the one thou knowest, and it shall be suddenly easy for thee to do this. The other images group around me to support me. Let all be worshipped, for they shall cluster to exalt me. I am the visible object of worship. The others are secret, for the beast and his bride are they, and for the winners of the ordeal X. What is this? Thou shalt know. For perfume mix meal and honey, and thick leavings of red wine. 
then oil of abramelin and olive oil, and afterward soften and smooth down with rich, fresh blood. The best blood is of the moon monthly, then the fresh blood of a child or droppings from the host of heaven, then of enemies, then of the priest or of the worshippers, last of some beast, no matter what. This burn, of this make cakes and eat unto me. This hath also another use. Let it be laid before me and kept thick with perfumes of your orison. It shall become full of beetles, as it were, and creeping things sacred unto me. These slay, naming your enemies, and they shall fall before you. Also these shall breed lust and power of lust in you at the eating thereof. Also ye shall be strong in war. Moreover be they long kept, it is better, for they swell with my force all before me. My altar is of open brasswork, burned thereon in silver or gold. There cometh a rich man from the west, who shall pour his gold upon thee. From gold forge steel, be ready to fly or to smite. But your holy place shall be untouched throughout the centuries, though with fire and sword it be burnt down and shattered. Yet an invisible house there standeth, and shall stand until the fall of the great equinox, when Hrumachis shall arise, and the double-wanded one assume my throne and place. Another prophet shall arise, and bring fresh fever from the skies, Another woman shall awake, the lust and worship of the snake. Another soul of God and beast shall mingle in the globed priest. Another sacrifice shall stain the tomb. Another king shall reign, and blessing no longer be poured to the hawk-headed mystical lord. The half of the word of Heru Ra Ha, called Hor Pakrat and Ra Hor Kut. Then said the prophet unto the God, I adore thee in the song. I am the Lord of Thebes, and I the inspired forth speaker of Mentu. For me unveils the veiled sky, the self-slain Ankhafna Khonsu, whose words are truth. I invoke, I greet thy presence, O Ra Horkuit. Unity uttermost showed, I adore the might of thy breath. Supreme and terrible God, who makest the gods and death to tremble before thee, I, I adore thee. Appear on the throne of Ra, open the ways of the Hu, lighten the ways of the Ka, the ways of the Khabs run through, to stir me or still me, Om, let it fill me, so that thy light is in me, and its red flame is as a sword in my hand to push thy order. There is a secret door that I shall make to establish thy way in all the quarters. These are the adorations as thou hast written, as it is said, The light is mine, its rays consume me. I have made a secret door into the house of Ra and Tum, of Kepra and of Ahathor. I am thy Theban O Mentum, the prophet Anchafna Khonsu. By Bes Namat, my breast I beat, by wise Tarnech, I weave my spell. Show thy star splendor, O Nuit, bid me within thine house to dwell. O winged snake of light, hard it, abide with me, Ra Hukuit. All this and a book to say how thou didst come hither, and a reproduction of this ink and paper for ever. For in it is the word secret, and not only in the English. And thy comment upon this, the book of the law, shall be printed beautifully in red ink, and black, upon beautiful paper made by hand. And to each man and woman that thou meetest, were it but to dine or to drink at them, it is the law to give. Then they shall chance to abide in this bliss or no. It is no odds. Do this quickly. 
but the work of the comment that is easy and hard it burning in thy heart shall make swift and secure thy pen establish at thy carver a clerk house all must be done well and with business way the ordeals thou shalt oversee thyself save only the blind ones refuse none but thou shalt know and destroy the traitors i am ra ho kuit and i am powerful to protect my servant success is thy proof argue not convert not talk not over much them that seek to entrap thee to overthrow thee them attack without pity or quarter and destroy them utterly swift as a trodden serpent turn and strike be thou yet deadlier than he drag down their souls to awful torment laugh at their fear spit upon them let the scarlet woman beware if pity and compassion and tenderness visit her heart if she leave my work to toy with old sweetnesses then shall my vengeance be known i will slay me her child i will alienate her heart i will cast her out from men as a shrinking and despised harlot shall she crawl through dusk wet streets and die cold and unhungered but let her raise herself in pride let her follow me in my way let her work the work of wickedness let her kill her heart let her be loud and adulterous let her be covered with jewels and rich garments and let her be shameless before all men then will i lift her to pinnacles of power then will i breed from her a child mightier than all the kings of the earth I will fill her with joy with my force shall she see and strike at the worship of new she shall achieve hard it I am the warrior lord of the forties the eighties cower before me and are abased I will bring you to victory and joy I will be at your arms in battle and ye shall delight to slay success is your proof courage is your armor go on go on in my strength and ye shall turn not back for any this book shall be translated into all tongues but always with the original in the writing of the beast for in the chance shape of the letters and their position to one another in these are mysteries that no beast shall divine let him not seek to try but one cometh after him whence i say not who shall discover the key of it all then this line drawn is a key then this circle squared in its failure is a key also and abra had abra it shall be his child and that strangely let him not seek after this for thereby alone can he fall from it now this mystery of the letters is done and i want to go on to the holier place i am in a secret fourfold word the blasphemy against all gods of men curse them curse them curse them with my hawk's head i peck at the eyes of jesus as he hangs upon the cross I flap my wings in the face of Muhammad and blind him with my claws I tear out the flesh of the Indian and the Buddhist Mongol and Din Balasti Ompeda I spit on your crapulous creeds let Mary and Violet be torn upon wheels for her sake let all chaste women be utterly despised among you also for beauty's sake and loves despise also all cowards professional soldiers who dare not fight but play all fools despise but the keen and the proud the royal and the lofty ye are brothers 
as brothers fight ye. There is no law beyond do what thou wilt. There is an end of the word of the god enthroned in Ra's seat, lightening the girders of the soul. To me do ye reverence. To me come ye through tribulation of ordeal which is bliss. The fool readeth this book of the law, and its comment, and he understandeth it not. Let him come through the first ordeal, and it will be to him as silver. Through the second, gold. Through the third, stones of precious water. Through the fourth, ultimate sparks of the intimate fire. Yet to all it shall seem beautiful. Its enemies who say not so are mere liars. There is success. I am the hawk-headed lord of silence and of strength. My nemesis shrouds the night blue sky. Hail ye twin warriors about the pillars of the world, for your time is nigh at hand. I am the lord of the double wand of power, the wand of the force of Hofnia, but my left hand is empty, for I have crushed an universe, and naught remains. Paste the sheets from right to left, and from top to bottom. Then behold, there is a splendor in my name, hidden and glorious, as the sun of midnight is ever the sun. The ending of the words is the word Abrahadabra. The book of the law is written and concealed. Alms.